Hi, I'm Pastor Goodman. And this is the Lord's Weekend Guide Live. So, we have made some really, really bold claims about baptism so far. That baptism is a requirement for the Christian faith. It's a part of things. It is the entrance into the church. It's like the door that you walk through to get in it. Um, if we're going to make these kinds of statements, we got to have something to back it up because a lot of people disagree with us. And so we don't just fall back on what Martin Luther says because Luther doesn't even fall back on what Luther says. We don't even just fall back on the practices of the church, although clearly if every single person for the last 2,000 years has done it a certain way, that might be an indication that we ought to pay attention to what's been going on. But still, Luther would guide us to how we are supposed to look at baptism. And he doesn't start with himself. He starts with God's word. Because if you're not going to start there, what do you have to stand on? In the large catechism, he points us to God's word by writing, In the first place, we must above all things know well the words upon which baptism is founded. And he gives us St. Matthew chapter 28. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And again, St. Mark chapter 16. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved, but whoever does not believe will be condemned. See, God's clear word talks to us uh, about baptism. And it's not just that there was baptism. It's that there should be baptism for you. And that's a big difference. That's the difference between descriptions and prescriptions in Scripture. And that actually really does matter. There's a difference between describing something that happened and prescribing something for you to do. I can tell you that in the Scriptures, uh, King David committed adultery and murder. And you should not do these things. Please do not commit adultery or murder. Bad. No. They happened, but you're not to do them. They're a description of something that did happen. However, there are prescriptions as well. Like, going into all nations, teach them all I have commanded you, and baptize them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. There is a, a command here that you be baptized because you belong to, well, a nation. Um, it, it lets us start to talk about baptism amidst all the things that people would say about it in, in much clearer things. And actually with a, a leg to stand on, because if God's own clear word is speaking about it, then maybe we actually can have a little bit of certainty. And, and so as we start to, to have some of the discussions about baptism, let's start with the really basic stuff. Is baptism a good thing or a bad thing according to the word of God? Good. Does God want you to be baptized? Yes. Is there a link between baptism and salvation? Mm -hmm. There is. God's clear word has to guide us in this thing. Otherwise, we're going to make a big mess of it. We don't need more confusion. We need more clarity because everybody already seems to have an opinion about this thing. So let's just fall back on what God's clear word prescribes for you. Because it's not enough that some people were baptized 2,000 years ago if it doesn't do you any good. And so God actually commands baptism be done for you. God's clear word speaks that baptism does good stuff and he wants you to be baptized so that as we start to pick this thing apart, we can ask the question, what hinders baptism? And maybe go from there because clearly God thinks that it's a good thing for you to have.